is madness. The loss of life at MSU devastating and so painful for the families and friends of the victims. And of course, the people on campus fearing for their lives before the gunman was found dead. My youngest is a senior at Michigan State University and endured a terrifying evening of sheltering in place while an active shooter killed and injured her classmates. Advocates of gun safety reform and Democrats in Lansing galvanized by not one, but two recent mass shootings at schools in Michigan. The memory of terror and chaos still fresh for Oxford High parents, teachers, and students. A safe storage law could have either prevented the shooting at my school or given us a way to hold the parents of the shooter accountable. Thursday, a package of bills passed out of the Michigan Senate focusing on safe storage, universal background checks, and those so-called red flag protections. I just want to underline how um, unfair it is that people who've had your experience have to kind of relive your trauma uh, to get our leaders to listen and make change. Virtually everyone is tremendously saddened by what happened at MSU in Oxford, but not everyone is convinced the solutions currently being proposed in Michigan will help. I was a victim of gun violence years and years and years ago. I do not carry a gun. I appreciate the Second Amendment that gives me the right to do so. I do not want my Second Amendment rights infringed upon, and this is what I'm afraid of. The more rights you take away, situation by situation and circumstance by circumstance, you can become victimized by your lack of rights. And Democrats do control the state Senate, the state House, and of course the governor's office. So we expect this package of bills to first pass the House and then be signed into law by the governor. Hillary Goulston, Fox 2 News.